Hello, welcome back. Last time, Buthero was given a mission to track down the recipe for gel and anyone who might know how to construct it. And apparently this is a place where we're looking. This lodge under the earth somewhere. All right. <laughs> well, this is an intro room. Okay, right, there was a roach problem in here, they said. And this is officially, like on paper, what Buthero is here to deal with. All right, job is done, so now he gets to poke around and do the actual job. Okay, wait, I'm... Oh. Oh, it took me... Th oh, I didn't realize I was still on the same level. I see how it is. Okay. So now I can get out of here. Okay, so I returned back to there a lot quicker than I expected to. All right, close the door behind me for some privacy. Did I ever read those scrolls? It Maybe. took some poking around, but Bethro had finally made his way deeper into the complex. The columns were much thicker, the walls were less ornate and more rough-hewn, and the air had that smell about it, where you knew you were a lot further from ventilation points. This was a dungeon, through and through. He could hear monsters ahead. Alright, puzzle time. Here we go. Wait, created 2015. Ooh, this is older than I thought. Alright. Low basement heating hum. Okay. Alright, level one. We've got numbered levels here. Okay, this looks... That is incredibly suspicious. I think I well, see your... This looks simple enough. Suggestion. I'm probably going to have to do stuff like this all the time. Just to get anything done around here. Right. So anyway, this is a gel hold. And, whoops, uh, I think you're suggesting a very particular path of movement, which is probably this. It's not, so you want... You want something different. Okay, so maybe this way. What is your suggestion here? That? No. I could ignore the floor markings. Okay, so what's the idea here? So anyway, I need this to be held down so Bithro can walk in here and kill this gel baby. That's the one who needs to hold it down. Well, this looks simple enough. I'm probably going to have to do stuff like this all the time. Yeah, I'm going to ignore these floor markings and do my own thing until I can make sense of what the floor markings are saying. So I can do that. Ah, but uh, that causes me a problem. Problem is I can't move that down just a couple of those. Okay, I see how it's going to be. Uh, I don't suppose I could... No, can't escape there in time. Alright, let's put you on the orb, maybe. Alright, that's a start. And that's probably what this is actually talking about. Or not, because that hasn't actually helped anything, has it? Okay, so, anyway, um, the same type of stickiness as rock golems. Let's go back and actually think about this. See, the thing about this floor marking is... My solution might end up in a pattern like this, but I don't know how to interpret this. Like, I can take a guess, but it's much more interesting to me to think about, like actually derive the solution rather than try to follow the pre-existing instructions that skip the derivation step, which is the actual fun part for me. So I'm going to just, again, ignore these markings. Maybe I'll end up doing something that follow them, maybe uh, follows them, but maybe I won't. So anyway, Gel Baby needs to be here while Bethro is in this quadrant. Somehow. The route by which that could happen... So if I wanted to do it from the west, or sorry, if I wanted to do it north to south on the west side, Gel Baby would have to come down here. Well, it would have to end up here with me throw there. Okay, that's doable if I can get it to my north with my sword facing north, which I can, well, I think. Actually, I'm not so sure... I'm not so sure about that one. So... 
issue here. Oh, there's a few of them. Is, is I can't move you west enough while still being to your south. Yeah, this is just put in the most awkward place and real close to this wall. Like the the tightness of the plate against the wall there is what's what's really making this an issue. Now I got you on that side of the orb once, didn't I? So if I were to do this, it wouldn't exactly help me, would it? What if I do that? That's useful. Okay, so then the idea was I go here, I do this, and that works out, and yeah, that had nothing to do with the floor markings. Perhaps there was an alternate solution. <laughs> this weird unconventional way to do it, unlike my completely conventional way, which would follow this line somehow. Uh, perhaps there wasn't. Maybe this is just ornamental. Anyway, that was how I did that. 21st place tie. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people playing this hold clearly when things like that will happen without a very specific... Like, I just took kind of a random amount of moves through here. Uh, so yeah, new Smite Master selection, official stuff, many players already before me. Serpents. Rock Golem, Gel Baby. So, hi. There's a person here. Hmm. Don't think I've seen you around before. Maybe our schedules are just different. Could be. Could be. Anyway, do whatever you want. I will. Just don't spill my tea. Okay. I'll stay out of your way. So anyway, serpents must die. Well, both of these are reusable until I kill... Well, yeah, either of them. Ah, with the golem I can create a stopping point for the gel baby, or vice versa, uh, in theory. Okay, so... Gel baby moves first, everybody moves after the serpents. Okay, let's try this with one and see what the issues are. Well, I got two. Right, of course I'm gonna get two. So one issue is I get both at once. So once you are there... Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Okay, so that's not a way to get you in. Okay, so I need... So I need... Oh, wait, hang on. These are different. Right, this one's all the way in the corner. Right, they're, they're the same, but, but they're different symmetrically speaking. Like, these are not all in the corners. They're all in the northwest, even though they're in the northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest corner. So that changes the situation here. Let's work with the uh, golem for a moment. Maybe our schedules are just different. Could be, could be. Anyway, do whatever you want. Just don't spill my tea. So this situation remains the same. How would I improve things? If I had both monsters with me... Nothing would particularly be helped that I can tell. So, like, this is the one of the four that's different. All the others have open space kind of all around the open corner. Well, this one doesn't, but I can clear it. Ah, so you would actually be the easiest one. Because I could do... I could carve myself a... something. Yes, I could. Maybe our schedules are just different. Here we go. So this is a way I could do that. Sure. That's a start. And then what? The same convenience 
could apply here. So this is the second easiest, I think. Because this is... Has a wall, like, one away from it. Now, how's that going to help me? I had an idea that it would. But now I'm not so sure about that. Uh, sure, that's fine. So I was thinking something that had to do with, like... Wait, how is this going to work? Well, now... Okay, so let's get just one. I'll stick with the golem for now. Since these two are basically the same creature. Let's go around... Okay, this is real interesting. If I go around that way... I'm going to pull you down... I don't know, here or so... That's not actually where I want you. Okay, now how am I going to pull this off? Let's try... Watch out, is tea going to get spilled? Alright, so that gets this serpent. Oops. Cool. That's two. I can do a similar trick for this, I'm pretty sure. But you, uh, you, I'm probably just going to kill the golem in a convenient spot so I can stick the gel baby on it, and then that'll be how I finish. That makes sense. Alright, so just stick this on here. Okay, this one's actually super easy. I just didn't think of the way to do it. Neat. This whole stickiness property shared between these two monsters is actually one of my favorite things to work with in this game, so this whole one that focuses entirely around this, or at least... That's one of its main uh, features. Is going to be quite a treat. I assume there will also be, like, tar stuff gel. Uh, you know, gel I can actually cut the inner corners of, rather than just babies. Although, well, I don't know. It's forbidden and mostly has been destroyed. It still exists, clearly, because you are here. But yeah, like, stable gel. Hmm. I don't know. I have to wait and see. All right, so... Where do I want you to be dead to make it convenient to get you in here? Probably the spot would be here. That's what I'm thinking. Because then I could do this and this and this. There we go. All right. How's your tea? Unspilled? Oh! Sorry. You know what? I can undo that. Here. <laughs> Your tea is intact. I unbumped you. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Twelfth place. Right. You know what? That's a little distracting, honestly. Can I turn those off? I guess I could turn this off. Hmm. I guess that's just going to be there if I'm connected to Caravanet. I can disconnect. It's fine. I'll just, I'll just try to ignore it. Pete the room without ever having him hit the middle orb. This one? Okay. Alright. Um, so, usually best way to treat a challenge like that, I, this one is nice enough to come with a beacon, is to do the room ignoring the challenge, and you know, if I happen to get it, I happen to get it. But uh, then come back with the understanding I gained from that and do it again better. What's happening here? So I'm locked in once I do that, sure. And I'm a little short on posts to stick a sticky thing on. This is a little bit norther than that, I note. And Evil Eye has to die. Tar Baby has to die. Okay, so this is just like going all around the room and hitting all the orbs. So hold that down, use this orb. Hold that down, use this orb. Hold that down, use this orb. Hold that down, stab the Evil Eye. Open the way out, stab the Gel Baby. And a room is done. All right, um, presumably these are good for something. Let's try that one. 
I don't see a reason to specifically use the middle one yet. Okay, so you would have to be at that point. Ooh, sword. Sword not doing what I want it to do. Okay, so the fragility of this wall is a uh, an issue here. And yeah, I can't just kind of ignore that. Okay, so I'd have to re-position you on something. Yeah, so my sword moves through the object that I'm interacting with when I do that. Okay, that's just part of the situation here. Ah, so that means I would want... Okay, I think I see the story here. I still don't see this being particularly harder if I ignore the middle orb. So I guess I'll try for the challenge right now. Whoops. Okay, I died. Let's try not to do that. Hmm, this is some tight quarters. Ought to be fine though. Okay, so this allows me to stick you on there without inserting my sword into the spot I don't want to put it. Okay, great. Um, I do have to switch sides here. Yeah, I do have to switch sides because, right, so that one's just a little more convenient. This is slightly more roundabout to get to, the, to those edges, but I can do it just fine. All right, so you take a little vacation right here. Oh, but you're not on the thing. Right, okay, so. Uh, hold your vacation. There's work to be done. Right here. Now, uh, yeah, you still have to be on that, so I'm gonna need to... I guess ping-pong over to the other orb. That's fine. I can do that. Better get used to this sort of thing. I'm gonna be doing it a lot. Yeah, it's so that little move. Okay, so I'm going here, which means I want you here, which I think I can do from where I am. Yes. All right. Now, southeast. Uh, yeah, I don't have time to do that. If I do it this way, I do. Okay, southeast is real easy. Evil Eyes dead, room is done, challenge is complete. Great! The indirect approach. That's a challenge that pops up the same turn that I clear the room. Got this, like, fancy scripting to pop it up right away instead of waiting a turn like it usually has to. Alright. I guess I'm going in a straight line over here. I hit a boundary, so that's fine. A scroll exists. This will release all the gel. Of course it will. Gel baby, movement order doesn't matter for this demonstration. Okay. However, if I wanted to know what it was... Alright, it's just in order. Left to right or top to bottom. And then this is the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... I can go in here and... Okay, what's the idea? So that has to remain held while I... Wait, what? So if I go here and do this... Oh, wait, I can't. Okay, so that's, this path is for gel babies, not for Bethro. But I still have to go back and forth and hit all the things. Oh, well, that's the idea? Maybe the idea is I can... Oh, okay, so spend a gel baby or two every time I want to traverse through there. It's going to be two. Let's see if I run out. I suspect I will. Well, I probably want to use the trap doors, well, one of the trap doors, to rescue right at the end. Okay, I think I get it. 
The thing is, I'm still not sure I have enough even doing that trick. But let's try and find out. Oh, it looks like I will. Yeah, just the right number. Alright, so use one trapdoor, leave the other. This one can die. Alright, nice and straightforward. Good. Fun. Is there a secret version of this where movement order does matter? If there is, I don't see a secret wall leading to it. Okay, what about here? Is the shape of this level going to be rhombusy? maybe? Could be. It is so far. Hot tiles, right. As with all tar stuff babies, immune to burning in that way. One trapdoor here and here. Okay, so this is a no sword turns challenge. However, well, not exactly. Once I'm on this second turn, I'm forced to enter facing south. Right? That would seem to be. All right, so we're kind of playing a lava gates room here. I'm gonna have to set things up. Okay, so I'm exiting facing west, it would seem, because I can't get you to a better position than that. Probably. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So I can go over here and move you around a little bit. I presume I desire to do that. Because, yeah, I only get the one sword reorientation. I think maybe I can make this work. Let's just see what happens. So having done that... Oh, you went there, which is... Fine? Maybe? I might actually want you in this hallway. Let's put you th there or so. Wait, no. I... Oh, no, this is an anti-reorientation. Sorry, I didn't even look at what these orbs did. I just assumed I'd be standing here and reorienting. So I'm just stuck safe facing south forever? How am I supposed to make that work? Is there another orientation I can start in? I don't think there is. Because, like, no matter what I do here, if I step there, I there's nowhere for me to step. And since there's nowhere for me to step, I must be able to step south, or just directly southwest onto that. Okay, I s Do I see? Well, I see something. I see this. Okay, so this is what I'm attempting to do, huh? And once I've interacted with that trapdoor, well, I'm just going to have to continue around there. I can go down here and move you to the west if I want. I'm not sure I do want... Oh no, I see a spot where I can kill to the south. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about you yet. I think I want to move you around from in here, so I'll leave you where you are right now. Alright, I think I get the idea here. How it interacts with this one, I'm less certain about. Oh, I can just kill that one, can't I? to do that. Hmm. Or do I? If I bring it over here and do some of this, it's no good. But then if afterward I go fetch it and put it in this hallway, it's still no good. Alright, so I think I need to pass by you twice. Which it looks like I can do while moving this over some number. I'm not sure how many. That might do the job. You I'm going to leave there for now. That'll be fine. Uh, I have you in the wrong place. I guess I can fix it. 
Not going for any high scores here. If I was, I'd have to restart from that. So you, I... Oh, wait, that trapdoor is gone. Which will have an effect. Should be fine. Anyway, yeah, so that's how that situation's resolvable. Oh, you went in there, which... I could have changed the way you did that, and I will. Okay, sure. Now for you. I probably just want to do the same thing because I can. Uh, uh, yes, good enough. Okay. Sure. A little bit of fiddling on my part to figure that out, but I figured it out. 20th place tie again. <laughs> What's with these low probability ties? Alright. Trapdoor gate for getting out of here, but I can go in any time, or someone else can. Evil Eye, out of the way. Symmetry here, I assume. Probably doesn't have a puzzle purpose. So once the Evil Eye is dead, I can drop the trapdoor and escape this. Presumably that's the last thing I do. So if I just step on this, what happens? Oh, I see. I can slide these up and down and choose their angle of entry. Wait, hold on. This is toggled by... Ooh, fascinating. Alright, so lots of problems there. Okay. So we're preparing this to slide these to... I need you to be slower about that. So that needs to... You need to hit this, which you did, but this needs to be hit, which it wasn't. Okay, so basically I want them to all be stopped on their respective pl pressure plates. And I can choose the timing more or less. Like by doing this, you are now one, two, three from that plate. You are now one, two, three, four from that plate. And this closes that door, this closes, or, or uh, this is something I just want to hold. Now you will need to be closed, so I need this... Four. Do I just want everybody four away? Yes. That's what it would seem to be. So yeah, the closest you can get is four away, the farthest you can get is four away. And if everybody's simultaneous... Then I think think that will do what I want. Okay. Four away. I believe that's the setup. Perfect. Neat. Alright. Do I dare? Oh, I dare. It's another hot tile room. Okay. I can handle this. Looks to me a lot like a tar baby. Uh, there aren't any of those. Uh, but maybe a gel baby will do in that spot. How will I get you out? I won't. I have to just kill you. Right, no. I. You can be extracted if my sword is... It will have to be exactly west. You... Oh, I get three reorientation points. Got it, okay. So, I have to start west, I'm pretty sure, because the first operation I want to do is to extract this gel baby. He's going on this pressure plate. Then I get the option of reorienting. Uh, uh. Once I can access that pressure, pr pressure plate trapdoor, I guess I need south. So it would seem... Ouch. I don't need a reorientation to move through here. Now how does this situation shake out? Just fine, except I do need a reorientation to deal with that. And I probably want north. And I think with north I can do everything else. Do I not need all these trapdoors? Feels like I'm probably still missing some aspect of this. 
Hmm, I think I see it. Because from where I am right now... Well, no, I can do that. And that's fine. Ah, I need one more Reorient to kill you because otherwise I'd have to step on the, uh, one of the arrows that would trap me. That's pretty good. All right. There. Neat. All right. Good stuff. So that's a good little chunk of this level taken out. Uh, here's a convenient checkpoint. And I'll look around and do some more rooms next time.